I'm Angela from CraftyGoat.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use Amazing Mold Putty to make your own button molds to use with polymer clay. Button molds are a good way to make a lot of buttons the same shape and size, and that way you can either make a whole set that match or replace a missing button on your favorite blouse. Here's what you need for this project. Amazing Mold Putty, which you can find in your craft store. It's about $20. A strong polymer clay like Primo, and some buttons to make molds of. You get two parts in the amazing mold putty, the white part and the yellow part, and you mix these together to make your mold. So the first step is to get equal amounts of the white and yellow. And you don't have to be real exact on this, just kind of roll out balls that look to be about the same size. And then you mix the two together until there's a uniform color, so no more streaks. Once it's well mixed, you roll it into a ball and get rid of your creases. And then you take your button and you press it into the mold until the back of the button is even with the rim of your mold. got your mold and you need to let this sit for about 20 to 30 minutes to let that mold completely set. This one is set for 20 minutes so it's ready to go and you just peel the button out and you've got your mold. And as long as you're happy with the way it turned out you can use it for polymer clay. To use your mold with polymer clay you roll a small ball of polymer clay, get rid of any creases and press it into the mold. You can use the scraper tool to take off the extra. And then peel your button out of the mold. And you've got a polymer clay button. Now depending on what you're using your button for, you can either use it just like this, or you can poke some button holes to thread fabric through or you can attach a button shank. So I'll show you how to do those things. To poke your buttonholes, you use a tool like this or a toothpick. And I usually put once on the front side and turn it over and make sure there's a thick enough hole on the back side for the thread to go through. And then just check the top and make sure it still looks good. That's how you do buttonholes. Now if you want to attach a button shank, I actually prefer to do that while it's still in the mold. And I use a jump ring. Just press it in. If you do this while it's still in the mold, then you're not going to distort the button. Press it in and then I put a little dab of liquid clay. and then press that clay back together. And that'll make a nice, strong button shank once you bake it. Here's a couple where I've already baked it, and as you can tell, that's good and sturdy. And if you want to add a little extra pizzazz to the button, you can brush some Parallax on top. This especially works well with buttons that have a lot of texture like this one does. And you just want to put the Pearl X on the top part so you have a little bit of contrast. And I just brush it on with my finger. And gives it a nice look. I hope you'll try making some button molds to use with polymer clay. It's a good way to practice your mold making skills, and the buttons are good to use with crafts and sewing and all sorts of things. If you have any questions about making molds or about polymer clay, come visit my blog at blog.craftygoat.com. Thank you.